Victoria and David Beckham shared tender moments as they put on a united front at Men's Fashion Week show in London after furiously denying rumors of a divorce. David and Victoria Beckham have been reunited in London after furiously denying rumors of an imminent split. The former footballer and his wife both attended the Kent and Kerwin Men's London Fashion Week show on Sunday, arriving at the London event separately and sitting apart before Victoria was spotted reaching over the table to give David's hand a squeeze. David made a low-key entrance at the event after returning from a trip to the States amid a flurry of divorce rumors, before Victoria was pictured making her arrival a short time later. The couple, who have been married 19 years later took their seats inside the show, but with Vogue editor Edward Inningful sat between them, they did put on a united front however with David pictured smiling at his wife as she leaned over their mutual friend Enningful to touch his hand. Victoria was dressed in a flowing white midi dress for the couple's first public outing together since the royal wedding on May 19, adding a pop of color with her yellow heels. David owns a major stake in heritage fashion brand Kent & Kerwin brand along with business partner Simon Fuller. His fashion designer wife shared a number of photos on her Instagram page as she supported her husband telling fans she was so proud of the beautiful collection. 24 hours before, Victoria was pictured looking somber on Saturday as she was seen for the first time since the Beckham camp hit back at the divorce claims. In pictures obtained exclusively by Mail Online, the 44-year-old designer was seen leaving a boutique hotel in the upmarket district of Mayfair in London on Saturday, making a quick exit as she hurried into her car. As the mother of four was in the English capital, her husband, 43, was more than 3,000 miles away in Miami on a business trip. Their respective outings came after they were forced to shoot down rumors of an impending divorce. After rumors of an impending split began racing around social media on Friday, Joe Milloy, a spokesman for Spice Girl turned designer Victoria, told the Daily Mail that the gossip was absolute nonsense. Meanwhile, former England football captain spokesman, Simon Oliveira, likewise dubbed the claims embarrassing and laughable. Elsewhere, a spokesman for the couple was quoted as saying, There is no statement due, no divorce, and a lot of Chinese whispers and fake social media news. This is all very bizarre and an embarrassing waste of time. The rumors were a crock of s, he said. Since the rumors began to circulate, Victoria has been enjoying some quality time with her family, sharing several snaps with her brood on social media. However, she was on her own as she left a hotel in London on Friday with a strained expression. The mother of four looked typically chic for the outing, teeming an oversized blue shirt with a pair of figure-hugging leather trousers that accentuated her lean legs, whilst also donning her trademark towering heels. The Mail on Sunday revealed that when Victoria saw the social media rumors about her marriage, she jokingly asked husband David, who was away in America at the time, are you divorcing me? The designer was said to be bemused about crack jokes about it with friends. A friend of the couple said, Victoria was taken aback, but she found the whole thing very funny. They have had a sense of humor about this because it's so ridiculous. They are stunned that so many people have believed it, and also stunned that it so quickly got around. They spoke about it and laughed a lot. They have absolutely no idea where or how it started. It's quite the mystery. The Beckhams will show a united front next month when they appear as a family for the first time in an interview and shoot for Vogue magazine. As part of celebrations to mark the 10th anniversary of Posh's clothing label, she, David, and their four children, Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz and Harper, will be interviewed for the cover feature. Sources at Condé Nast, the publishing house which owns Vogue, say they expect it to be one of their best-selling issues. One said, it is such a coup to get the whole family together for one really special interview. It will celebrate Victoria's life as a businesswoman but also as a mother and a wife. Everyone is really excited, nobody more so than her. Claims the couple were planning to divorce circulated on social media earlier on Friday, prompting High Street bookmaker Patty Power to suspend betting on them separating. Patty Power's move came despite there having been no suggestion the couple were having any marriage difficulties. David married Victoria Wed in 1999, and the couple have four children together, Brooklyn, 19, Romeo, 15, Cruz, 13, and Harper, 
6. The retired footballer player was in the U.S. for a business trip earlier in the week to Miami to discuss his impending Major League Soccer team there. Yet, his time in Miami wasn't notable, a source told Daily Mail. Com. He was in for a meeting with his business partner in the soccer deal, the source said. It was a quick in and out trip. David's lawyers were in court in Miami on Tuesday as the county was fighting for the right to sell his ownership group land for his new stadium. While he didn't make an appearance in court, he was probably in town for updates or to scout other property for his impending soccer stadium. David secured the rights to Miami's MLS expansion team as part of his 2007 contract with the LA Galaxy and exercised his option to pay $25 million for the new franchise in 2014. Initially scheduled to launch for 2016 or 2017, the yet unnamed team has faced financing and stadium deal delays, and may begin play in 2020. Meanwhile, Victoria has been enjoying some quality family time in England, and took to Instagram on Saturday to share a sweet snap with sons Romeo and Cruz as well as daughter Harper and her parents Jackie and Tony Adams. The doting mother of four who is also famed for her eponymous fashion line, put on a typically chic display as she was clad in a pair of patent trousers and a white tee, tied in with pointed red stilettos. Victoria beamed with delight as she embraced her youngest child Harper, who flashed a wide grin for the adorable image. Second son Romeo bore a resemblance to Cruz, as the brothers both sported white t-shirts and dark wash bottoms. Victoria captioned the image. Fun dinner X kisses from us all X. David also returned to social media following the scandal as he promoted his grooming brand House 99 with a typically dashing snap on Instagram on Friday. In the black and white image, the football icon posed up a storm as he displayed his heavily inked physique in a foam fitting t shirt. Plugging his brand new collection, the father of four captioned the image At House 99 is gearing up. Share your hashtag game ready looks. Shortly before his post, the former Manchester United A's shared his condolences following the death of celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain, who was found dead from a suicide on Friday. He took to his Instagram story, Travel isn't always pretty. It isn't always comfortable. Sometimes it hurts. It even breaks your heart. But that's okay. The journey changes you. It should change you. The touching message continued. It leaves marks on your memory on your consciousness, on your heart, and on your body. You take something with you, hopefully, you leave something good behind. David ended the note with rest in peace Anthony, alongside a folded hands emoji.